YouTube world, what is happening? Kyle Lewis, Kyle Lewis here, bringing you guys a new video today, right here on Kyle's vlog. I am so sorry, it's been a few days. I mentioned to you guys last week that I was going to upload something on Sunday. Things got away from me. To be honest, I'm actually working on a sermon that I'll be doing for this Sunday at our, our church. And so, uh, I've been working on that. So, I was... I was kind of putting that together as I got home um, Sunday afternoon so that's what I've been working on but I'm back I'm bringing you guys a new cooking video today a new instructional um, cooking vid if you like to cook if not if you're just learning hey this is a good way to start now I'm no professional chef by any means uh, but I do love to cook um, and I think it's really good especially for you fellas out there if you're trying to impress the ladies it's a good thing to do um, you know, because they don't want to cook all the time. So, um, so today, as you can see by the title, it is titled, oh, before I start, <clears throat> um, or before I continue, actually, uh, I do want to say thank you to all of you who have recently subscribed to the channel. I noticed there has been a sig significant few numbers that have been climbing, and I do appreciate that. Really means a lot to me. Please continue to share. Um, uh, encourage your friends and family to come on here too. Um, you guys can read in my bio what I do here. Um, of course, every upload that I do, I aim to do three things. That is to help, encourage, and inspire you guys. And I especially think cooking is a good way of inspiring you too. Um, especially if you want to learn. If not, oh well. That's okay. Um, so... Today's video is titled Juicy Lucy's. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that. Uh, me being from the or growing up from the Midwest, living in uh, Minnesota, uh, Juicy Lucy's were a big thing for w Wisconsin people and a little bit here and there in, in California. Or here, sorry, a little bit here and there in uh, Minnesota. And so we're gonna do that tonight. It's it's cheeseburgers. All right. So if you have hamburgers, if you have uh, hamburger patties, it's a good way to, to, to start off with. But of course, before you get into anything, just make sure you wash your hands. I'm going to take off my ring so I don't get it that messy. Um, and that's going to go in my pocket. Well, maybe not my pocket. Put it over here. Alright, so I'm going to wash my hands because you want to make sure your hands are clean before you're messing with any food, especially meat. All right. Voila! Okay, and then I'm gonna drink some of my juice real quick. It's pina colada and Caribbean sunset. It's Tropicana. It's mixed together. I just had to mix the two. So, oh yeah. Okay. To get into this, you need one patty. Well, you need two patties, but you need one like this all right so here's one patty you're gonna get the skillet up kind of running a little bit get it heated um, you're gonna get the first patty down and you're gonna put a little bit of a little bit of garlic not too much for flavoring I use my hand to kind of measure and then kind of sprinkle it upon. That way, like, because I have a tendency if I do pour, it just goes all over the place or there's too much. You don't want garlic burps, although you might get some. Okay, so that's in there. Um, get a little bit of onion powder too for flavoring. Same thing. Lightly put it in your hands. Well, well, that was a little more than I anticipated there. Okay, so I guess I'll save that for the next one. Okay. Alright, so put that in there, kind of spread that. Okay, um, 
Then what I'm going to do is I am going to put Seagull Craft Cheese. I know a lot of people don't like this. I think it's great for flavoring, but you can do real cheese too. So, put that on here. I'm actually going to grab it out of the, the skillet right now. So you, I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing. Okay. So Juicy, Juicy Lucy's are where you put cheese in the middle. And if you want, you can put more cheese too. So, I mean, you can put another singles if you want because sometimes the cheese does melt all the way out but what you want to do is take another patty and put that on top okay then what you're going to do is you're going to just kind of um kind of mush it together See what I'm doing here? Just kind of mush it together. Yeah, because sometimes the cheese will like completely melt out and then you kind of lose out on it. Being a juicy Lucy. It's just a hamburger. So make sure get that in there. It's good to have a wet hand. So if you need to wet your hand a little bit more with water, you could do that. Okay. Get that in there. You're just you're just kind of patting it down too. I mean you can do that as well. You just want to make sure that it's um, seeping together almost, you know, like it's like it's becoming one big patty. That's exactly what you want to do. Okay, I'm going to do that, okay, we can see the, the cheese coming out right there, I want to make sure that I get that covered, Woo! I can smell the onion powder, it's hitting me in the nose, okay. So, there's that. And another way for me, I'm not going to do it in this one, but an, uh, an, and it will take longer if you do this, but I'll put uh, bacon wrapped around it too. It just takes longer to cook for both the meat, for both the hamburger and the bacon. Because the bacon will actually seal in the uh, cheese too for you. Just so, if you're wondering, but... Right now we're just doing plain Juicy Lucy's, okay? So, come on. Okay. So, that should be good. And then you just put that in the pan. Okay, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more flavoring. So a little bit more onion powder here. Okay, come on. I mean, if you want, you can use a spoon to, to kind of measure the amount you want. If you want to do like a teaspoon of, uh, of uh, onion powder and a teaspoon of garlic, you could do that. Okay. So that's in there. And then, you know, it's good to put a little salt in it too. You don't have to do too much, but... Why not? Your heart is already kicking after it eaten part of this, so. Okay. Alright. Number two.
that's the same thing. I just want to make sure there's enough room in there. So it'll um, if you get the the ten pack of um, patties, it'll be like ten dollars. At least that's where we got. So let me. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that with the paper. Make sure the paper's off. Okay. So. Let me get that going in there. Well, maybe not. Hold on. Okay, so I need to put flavoring on here. I'll do this as delicately as I can. I don't have the skillet completely high yet because if not, if you do that, then obviously it's going to burn a little bit more quicker. And you want to make sure that it cooks both sides really good. Um, okay, so I'm just going to sprinkle. Of course, when I say sprinkle, I guess a lot more comes out. There we go. A little flavoring there. And then my mom likes um, real cheese with hers, so I'm going to get real cheese for that. Yeah. We'll do uh, white cheese with that. Sorry guys, usually I'm a little bit more prepared than this. My mom just likes to make a difficult and have special kind of regular cheese. Alright. This kind is the shredded cheese. Grab a handful of that, pat that on there. Make sure there's enough. Okay, and then grab this other side. Other patty and I'm gonna patten that down. Oh, it's already cooking. Ah. Crap. Okay. Alright. Okay, that's okay. You could always just mash it together too in the pan. But for, for me when I did it, how with the hand, it's, it's much better that way. But because it's already cooking, I don't want to burn my hand. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow these to cook for a while. And then we'll catch up when they are cooked. Alright? I'll see you in a jiff. Alright guys, sorry. I said I was going to catch you guys up when it was fully cooked. I will do that, but I just wanted to let you know another way for it to cook quicker on the sides just to put a, a lid over it. And you want the size to cook for about, I would say, till it's really, really dark. Um, you don't want it, not a whole lot of pink, right? Um, so I usually do about eight to 10 minutes on each side. Um, but the lid definitely helps to get it cook, cooked a lot quicker on the bottom. Just so you know, all right? I'm gonna catch you up when they're Okay, so definitely a, a, a correction. Um, you want to make sure both sides cook for about 20 minutes each. Given the fact that there's two patties, now if it was one patty, yeah, 10 minutes on each side, or eight minutes on each side. Um, 
but given the fact that there's two patties and one, you want to cook, cook um, it for extra uh, time. Well, you don't want any. You don't want it to be on. Un- you don't want it to be uncooked. You know what I mean. So like, even if it seems like it is, it's probably not. You want to make sure that it's hard when you're touching it with a spatula. If that makes sense. So if it's too like soft still, then you need to cook it for a little bit longer. All right. Now, I know I said I was going to catch you guys up when it was done. I still am. But while you guys are doing that, um, I just wanted to go over on. Um, making sure that um, you wrap up your meat with saran wrap um, and you have that freeze again you don't want to put that back in the fridge and then reuse that because you want it to freeze and then unfreeze in the fridge if that makes sense like so like for instance if I was to put uh, the ham like the cheeseburger meat the leftover cheeseburger cheeseburger meat if I was to put that in the fridge tonight and then cook another one tomorrow, I'd get really sick. So just make sure you put it in the freezer, let it freeze itself, and then you can try again later on. Just make sure it unthaws in the uh, fridge for a little bit, and then you're good, okay? Now, I also forgot to mention that Juicy Lucy's are so much better when you grill them um, because you have that straight fire. Of course, you still need to cook it for a good, good, 20 minutes on each side, um, but for, you know, just for future reference, I prefer it definitely on the grill, but you could definitely skillet too, uh, put it in the skillet too, and that's what I'm doing, um, and then I put an extra piece of cheese on top of mine, so that's going to wrap around that, give it some extra cheese just in case if my cheese in the middle did melt, <laughs> uh, got a backup plan, you know what I mean, backup cheese. Um, so anyways, yeah, this is, this is one of those, like, meals that's really, really good for the summer. Um, I mean, I love barbecuing, period. That's just my, my, my favorite thing to do. That was my, one of my favorite things to do with my dad back in the day and my family, and we all got together and do that. Um, and I'm actually, um, thinking about maybe doing a food truck, uh, as a business. So... It depends if my YouTube business takes off first, so we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm really considering on doing a barbecue um, food truck. So I'm kind of sharing some of my ideas with you. Some I'm learning on uh, on my own and making my own, and and that will be for the food truck. But all right, I will catch you guys up in just a second, okay? All right, so this is where you can turn it down. Turn it on low, just so it's, I put some extra cheese on for my mom's cheeseburger too, Um, Juicy Lucy, Um, my wife isn't here today, otherwise I'd make her one for sure, sorry babe, Um, but yeah, so I put a little bit more cheese on top of there, and I'll show you what mine looks like right here. Okay, that's just without the condiments. Now, I put mayonnaise on the other. Hold on. I have it. Well, I thought I had mayonnaise. But tonight, just got ketchup. Still good. Guys, guess what? Good news. Found the mayonnaise. <sighs> and better news. Juicy Lucy's are done. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video, tuning into it. Um, there's a couple other cooking videos on here. You just got to go back to check them out. Um, if you guys enjoy these, let me know. I can definitely do some more. Some other ideas. Or if there's a recipe that you want me to try, comment down below. Maybe I can give it a try sometime. Um, anyways, that's what Juicy Lucy's is. Or, well, it, you, you put two patties together with the cheese in the middle, wraps around, 
and it's even better with the bacon around it. So you could do that next time, or you know, just future reference for that if you want. But anyways, that'll be it for today's video vlog. I do have a couple more videos planned tomorrow, so be on the lookout for that. I will see you guys on the next vlog. Remember, live the moment, never fear change, and keep the faith. Try Louie out.